All right, guys, John here, Sergeant Reds. Thanks for joining me. I'm just doing a really quick video here. So if you saw the video I did before where I was at the house, uh, the collector's house, where it's filled floor to ceiling, and I spent like several hours the other day. I went back today and ended up getting a couple totes. Um, don't mind me. I'm wearing my pajamas because uh, I got back, and after climbing around and everything, I had to take a quick shower and whatnot. So anyway, yes, they are. Spam pajamas. My spam jammers. So, let's go through this real quick. A lot of, um, this is all, basically all carded figures. There is a couple loose things. Um, I didn't have a lot of time today, so I just stopped in and, uh, made some quick digging and, uh, picked up some stuff. So I'll show you what we got here, and, uh, let's go. What's this? This here is dust, dirt, and grime. So, I've been going over these figures, um, that I just picked up today, and like I said, they're they're dusty. So the cards are dusty, the bubbles are dusty. They've been hanging up for ten years. As you can see, some of this stuff in here, you know, I mean, it's just it's just covered in dust. So what I'm doing with the bagged figures, like these guys, I'm just taking this out and um, changing the bags and tossing those bags. But the carded figures, unfortunately, a lot of these are just dusty. I mean, it's not damaging to the the box really; it's just dust. So what I'll do is I'll take a, a damp rag or paper towel hardly any moisture on it at all obviously dealing with the cardboard and everything but you need to wipe it down so this is some of the remnants um i'm almost done with this box i got all the carded figures uh, with the exception of those two i still need to to wipe down but as you can see some of the other stuff it's like like these ones i just took out these are the remco mcdonald ones but we had some swamp thing in there just the one some masters of the universe i found the dark wing duck Uh oh, you're about to hear the dog bark. There he goes. Animorphs, some Masters of the Universe, some more Darkwing Duck. And then up here, um, some more Animorphs. We got these little keychains, which are actually pretty cool. They're from 2002, just like little Transformer keychains. I think there's like four or five of those. And there's the magic box where I take my pictures. Another Darkwing Duck. And here we got these. Uh, Road Warrior, Mad Max figures. That's all of those there. And a couple of these fellas. So, once I get this box cleared out here, I'll start transferring this stuff back and I'll show you guys all the figures that I got. Um, this is probably all, the only loose stuff that I picked up today. With the exception of a couple other figures. I think the mask vehicles are in that bin. But uh, And I'll show you how I wipe. I mean, it's wiping down a figure. It's not really, you know, rocket science. Just wipe the dust off. So, but let me get the rest of this stuff cleared out here. Actually, let's go through this stuff real quick while I got it here. Who remembers this guy? I don't remember his name, but he's from a show called Eureka's Castle. It was a puppet show. Um, just a ghost from Ghostbusters. Like I said, we got a couple more of these Remco McDonald figures. Here's the other Transformer keychain. Oh, get off of there. So we got this. I don't even know what this is. It's like a Transformer gorilla. I'll have to look this thing up. I get. It looks like Optimus Prime couple other uh, we got a bat who is according to this complete i'll have to look it up make sure all the pieces are in there a couple other mcdonald's just a couple other loose joes that were in a, a drawer so i just kind of dumped it in there uh 100 complete phantom x19 driver um i don't know what the heck that is well i know what it is. it's a star wars but what year is that from is that an original one no 96 i didn't think it looked like one those new Star Wars figures really don't have much value to them at all. So, I'll get these things out. And I mean, these things aren't too dusty. Like I said, most of these were in a drawer. So, there wasn't really any dust on them. It was just kind of long forgotten. These things were all sitting out. Um, and just were kind of dusty. So, I'm going to get this stuff out of here. Start packing this stuff back into it for now. I'll show you what else is there. And then we'll go through it. I'm going to dust off those other ones and get everything inventoried. But... It's pretty neat stuff. This is how the magic's made. Don't tell anybody. Eh? Can't even tell. There's no background when you do it, right? Uh -huh. So, I'm sure everyone knows how to do that. But these things are pretty cool. These Foldio Studios. They got little LED lights built in. And then you just change these out when they get dirty. Um, but it gives you a nice clean white background so you can display your pieces, take pictures of them so you can focus on the piece. But anyways, let me get the rest of this stuff done. Because that pile is probably doubled in size when I'm done. 
Alrighty, so we got this bin cleared out, um, cleaned up all the pieces that were in there, and I'm just going to kind of go through these real quick so you can see all the ones we have. So we have some Darkwing Duck, and obviously these aren't going to be packed away like this, I'm just kind of doing this so I can show you guys what we have. Casey Wolf from Animorphs. Got a Beast Machine. Battle Armor Skeletor. You got Jake Tiger here. These are these are. I thought these. Are, I think these are goofy. These anamorphs. They're just kind of, I don't know, kind of goofy looking transformers. Another Darkwing Duck. I'm trying to do this where I don't get you guys a uh, car sick. So, but all right. So we got RoboCop. Actually, it's probably easier if I just do it in one spot and then uh, put them away afterwards, so you guys don't puke. So we got the Road Warrior. We got this Generations Two Transformer. Launch pad McQuack from Darkwing Duck. Another reboot. It's got a regular uh, Skeletor here. What's up, the uh, gold armor variant? Swamp Thing. Another Beast Machine. These are those Popeye figures I was talking about, and I'm sitting there like walking in these things. And yes, I am wearing spam pajamas. Denise bought these for me. But after picking in a dusty house all day long, I had to come home and take a shower. And uh, I just threw on my pajamas. I'm getting comfortable. So we got the Popeye, or well, Bluto, and then Wimpy. And there's an X Files guy again. Another tailspin. See, so I was talking about putting these in the cleaner bags. I don't know who this guy is. He's like a pirate. I don't remember him. I'll have to look him up. He's one of the McDonald characters, I believe. It's McDonald, you got the Professor. So, Rebecca Cunningham there. Let's move over here. This is one of those newer, uh, probably 2002-ish. It's upside down. 2006 Transformer. We got the Battle Armor He-Man. Comet. The two bonkers Bendems. We got the uh, little keychains. I think it's what Cliff Jumper. You got Bumblebee. You got Wind Charger. Those are from 2002, but they kind of look like the original ones. Only a keychain version. And we got Brawn. And like I said, I'll show you guys all of the stuff. We already looked at this fella. So we have the Road War. It's basically the complete set of them. So I could just show you on here. So it's all these guys and gals from the Road Warrior. Actually pretty neat figures. This old Mill. And Foreman Elf. And Rudolph. Alright guys, so here, here's what I was talking about. See how dusty this is? I mean... They're pretty bad. Um, it's going to be kind of difficult to do this with one hand, but basically all I'm doing is wiping down the bubbles um, and then just giving the cardboard a real quick wipe on all of this stuff. So, so far this is from the one bin. Um, everything in there has been wiped down. And again, like I said, it's just damp. It's not wet. It's not getting anything soggy or anything stupid like that because obviously you're dealing with paper products, so you don't want to get anything wet. But, you know, some of these cards are bent, which, you know, it's just how they were. Some of the stuff I'm finding on the garage floor, it's, it's, it's crazy. But this is a lot of Transformers, like the Armada stuff. It just goes all the way down the Armada. There's a couple, uh, like I showed you guys earlier, a couple mask figures and Ghostbusters figures and things like that. So I want to finish cleaning these up. Um, these ones are just in that bin. I just cleaned these ones off. So... Here's stuff that I still haven't finished with from the last time I was there two days ago or whatever, but just getting stuff cleaned up and inventoried. But, you know, when someone calls and says, hey, I got some stuff, kind of just roll out and get it and then get this stuff dealt with later. But anyways, I'm going to get to this and uh, we'll go through the rest of these figures once I get them all cleaned off. All right, well, there we have it. This bin's totally empty now. Got everything cleaned off. As you can see, there's like a giant pile of disgusting dusty paper towels 
Um, some of you might be wondering why I'm using damp paper towels versus using a Swiffer or something, but some of this dust gets on these things, and it doesn't. The Swiffer will wipe off the top layer of it, but if this has been sitting somewhere like these have for a long time, not even necessarily somewhere humid, but with a natural humidity cycle, I found that the dust gets on it and it gets humid and it gets dust on it, it kind of gets caked on, and you have to wipe it off. Um, and whoever developed this packaging, I hate you. These little grooves, oh jeez. Like trying to get the dust out of those, I almost need a Q-tip. But anyway, let's go through these. I'll show you what we have. So we got these Armada ones here. I'm not gonna read all of them. There's too many names, and reading is not really fun. It is. It's fundamental. I know. Reading Rainbow. All right. So there's a bunch of these things. Um, these are pretty cool. I mean, these Armada ones. Obviously, I like the older stuff better, but sometimes you take what you can get, and these are actually getting kind of old now, I think these are 2006 I looked at them earlier, so, 14 years old, it's crazy how time flies, it's, it's weird to say 2006 is old, but it is, you're old, I'm old, we're all old, so a boatload of these things, that one's discounted, I mean, there's just tons of these things. They had, they had them on a rack, like a pegboard hanging up. But, the, I mean, the dust just got up on the top of them. Um, and like I said, just just from sitting. You know, we need to get all this stuff cleaned off, obviously. Next step for me is going to be to inventory all these things, price all these things, get them a spreadsheet, and uh, go from there. And then I'll start listing them. And hopefully, we'll get our shop open sometime in the near future and we can actually start hanging stuff on shelves and I won't have to deal with eBay as much obviously I'll still be doing stuff online um, you're stupid not to in this day and age you can reach a lot more customers and get these things in the hands of people who are going to appreciate them and love them and play with them obviously so Optimus Prime got Hot Shot Smoke Screen one of those little guys. Got the Megatron Mega Bolt there. Storm Jet. Grimlock. Thrust. That's a couple more of these tailspin figures were in this box. Um, High Tower. So we got a good number of these newer ones. Um, there are some vintage ones there I need to get. They're not on the card or anything. But they're extremely dusty, and they're going to take a lot of effort to get cleaned up, which is kind of why I've been hesitant to grab them at this point. Um, because of the time it takes to clean those things out, just from all the little pieces and parts and, and all that. But anyways, that's what we got. There's our giant mess. We're going to get the stuff loaded back in here, get it all inventoried, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave us a like and hit the follow button, subscribe, and maybe we'll show you some more of the uh, spam pants. Red likes to buy crazy pajamas for people. Anyways, guys, sorry, Dan. Yeah.